days along the lower side of the Oclockney River. That's from prescribed burns most likely within Wakulla County. But other than that, maybe a couple patchy feathery clouds. We've had a crystal clear sky and a lot of sunshine today leading to a generally clear night. But the upper winds may help to transport a little bit of moisture in the high levels. And again, that can maybe cause a couple patches of cloudiness between now and dawn. But nothing that's going to really cause excessive cloud cover for the first part of your Saturday. Forecast and focus mostly honing in on a change in the wind pattern east to southeast through tomorrow afternoon. And that can maybe draw some Atlantic moisture. That can help to contribute to some scattered cloud cover. I still think we'll have periods of uh, sunshine stretching through the afternoon, but later in the night and through Sunday morning, that's when we'll start to go into a more overcast trend. And that's when the front will start to swing towards the tri-state region. South winds will pick up moisture and help to create a higher chance for some showers. This is not a, an incredibly strong front in terms of severe weather or active thunderstorms, but maybe just enough of a wind pattern to give us maybe a couple spotty isolated storms on your Sunday afternoon. So we'll monitor that trend in the forecast data through tonight and tomorrow, bring you updates on it. Nothing of major concern, but just to be aware that Sunday won't be necessarily an ideal day to be outside because of rain coverage. Forecast lows for tonight, right around 32 to 37 in most areas. If you're right on the beach or the barrier islands, you'll likely escape any kind of frost or freeze concerns. And then tomorrow we climb right back into the 60s, mid 60s, North Florida, lower 60s for most of Southern Georgia. Fairly average when it comes to those highs for tomorrow and at the beach and offshore expecting those east winds to become more onshore southeast by later in the afternoon. Wind speeds around 8 to 18 knots through the stretch of your Saturday. Over the next several days, we are going to see the diminishing rain trend later Sunday and into Monday, but the clouds will be slow to break because we'll have another surge of cold air coming in. So a high struggle to reach 50 on Monday. And it could be Friday before you get back into the 70s. That means some freezing temperatures are possible in the middle of next week. We'll be back 